Index is pair gains. Microsoft retakes key level as first solar rises on analyst views. Major indexes gave up most of their early gains at 3 p.m. ET. The Dow Jones Industrial Average was up 0.1%, well off session highs. The S&P 500 also gave up all of its early gains and was flat in late trading. The Nasdaq reversed as well after rising earlier and lagged, falling 0.1%. Volume on the NYSE and Nasdaq was lower compared with the same time Thursday. The small cap Russell 2000 fell 0.1% while the innovator IBD50, FFTY, ETF lagged with a half a percent fall. Crude oil rose nearly 1% to $87.59 a barrel. The yield on the benchmark 10-year Treasury note was unchanged at 4.25%. Dow Jones Stocks In the Dow, Apple, AAPL, rose nearly 1%, breaking a two-day losing streak that drove the stock below the 50-day line. The stock remains under that level. Microsoft, MSFT, regained its 50-day line with a 1.5% gain. Salesforce, CRM, rose in a cup base with a buy point of 238.22. Adobe, ADBE, paired early gains and fell 0.3% after Mizuho analysts upgraded the stock to buy from neutral with a price target of 630, up from 520. Analysts see upside to annual recurring revenue from Adobe's digital media segment, with its generative AI venture Firefly being a growth driver. Earnings are due next week, as are those from software leader Oracle, ORCL. DocuSign, DOCU, quickly gave back early gains and fell after earnings. The stock is down 3% and trying to hold its 50-day line. Sales grew 11% and earnings were up 64%. For the quarter ending October 31st, the company expects midpoint revenue of $689 million. Kroger, KR, is trying to retake its 50-day line in a big outside day after results. The grocery company affirmed its guidance for the full year. First Solar holds analyst day. First Solar, FSLR, gave up some gains after an upgrade following its analyst day. Deutsche Bank analysts upgraded the stock to buy from hold with a price target of 235 During its presentation, the maker of thin film photovoltaic modules said it foresaw gross margin increasing from about 42% next year to more than 60% by 2026. The stock is trading at about 182, near the level of its converging 10-week and 40-week moving averages. Among software plays, Smartsheet, SMAR, gave back some gains after surging on earnings. The stock gapped up from its nearly converged 10- and 40-week lines in strong volume. Second quarter revenue grew 26% while earnings per share surged 260% from the prior year same quarter. The workflow management software maker sees sales growing 20% to 21% in the third quarter with expected earnings of $0.08.09, reversing from a $0.01 loss a year ago. ServiceNow, NOW, is nearing a buy point of 614.36 in a cup base in the stock market today. Its relative strength line is at a new high, a bullish sign as a stock nears a buy point. Copart, CPRT, is in a base with a buy point of 47.38 with earnings due next week.